We protect aviation, that's what we do. We make sure that there's nothing getting on that plane that shouldn't be. We basically keep people safe. One of the most important tasks is to x-ray passengers' backs, make sure there's no sharp objects or even explosives or anything that can harm any other passengers on board. And the one person makes sure the person who's actually traveling in the plane is safe to travel. We also screen the whole stow bag that goes under the plane because the passenger's bag is a part of the plane. Yeah, one of my roles is to go around the airport looking for suspicious objects and then take the bags and check people's ID, make sure they're all current. Going in the car, so just patrolling our airside, going around the perimeter road, just making sure there's no damages to the perimeter fences or everyone outside have their IDs present. So we do work in a shift working role. We've got six days on, three days off, and it is early shifts and late shifts. Uh, that is a bit challenging but you're just going to have to try and manage your time wisely. Because we work six days on, three days off, your weekends aren't always traditional weekends, so you have some time when perhaps their family isn't home or when other people aren't doing their shopping. It can be useful. You've got to be outgoing, you've got to be adaptable. Someone that's accepting of different backgrounds and people that, that understand what other people are going through and just someone open-minded. You need to be a really good people person. You need to be able to deal with a lot of different personalities, um, both within your team and with the passengers that you're dealing with. And you have to be able to balance that good customer service with keeping up the security. Security always has to come first, but you need to be able to do it politely. Take someone who's passionate about what they do. Take someone with good integrity and has strong attention to detail. You've got to be also um, be very punctual as well because the rest of the team's depending on you to be on time and plus the drive and the enthusiasm to perform. It's a really good team atmosphere here. You really feel like they've got your back. We look after each other and yeah, it's, it's really awesome. I, I love the people that I work with. They are a very professional bunch, a very diverse group of different backgrounds, but we have the same focus, which is to protect aviation. Well, you can go from an aviation security officer to a more specialised role, such as dangerous goods officer. Uh, you can be a driver, and you can also be a control room officer as well. There's everything from moving into an on-job training role, a training support team member role. Um, if you want to move into a team leading role, there's that opportunity. There's also progression into an explosive detector dog unit role. And you're trained a dog to identify explosive and bags. There are lots of opportunities that you're not aware of, but you'll know once you're in the job. Anyone who wants to be an aviation security officer will love the variety we're doing here. If you're doing some 9 to 5 job, I think you'll not probably come across this many stories to experience and to tell people. Coming to work every day is actually a fun activity for me. To meet a lot of different people, to talk to them and find out what their lives are like. Every day is different, but every day is rewarding. I joined AFC because I like helping out in my community and the environment's real positive here, so it makes it enjoyable coming to work every day. So the starting salary here is really good. There's um, plenty of perks within the role and it makes it really worthwhile. I think the most rewarding part is the, the satisfaction that I get, providing people with a safe environment where they can actually board the plane knowing that um, their ride is going to be safe. We keep aviation safe, you know, we make it safe for people to fly where they want to go.